sound beam works by using ultrasonic beams and other sensors such as switches to make a performance area in which music can be created simply by moving in space. It translates physical movement into digital instructions for electronic keyboards, synthesizers or samplers so that virtually any sound can be played. Here's a guitar. Nice classical guitar. What about something a little bit more wacky? One of the most important functions of the beam is the facility to vary its range. Here's a very short beam. Here's a longer beam. And you can also locate the whole block of sound at any distance up to six meters away from the sensor. So you can effectively create a large or small performance area wherever you like in the space. For example, where movement may be very limited, musical performance is still possible using short beams. This is teacher and musician Pete McPhail working with a child at the Ormerod School in Oxford. And at this dance workshop, held in a school on a large inner city estate, the beams are set at maximum range, enabling the whole group to contribute to the music. There are several ways in which sound beam can be programmed to interpret movement. For example, we can have single notes played one at a time, giving a predictable, melodic response. You can also hold the notes to build up sustaining chords. This lady, hemiplegic according to her medical notes, is quite engrossed in her soundscape. It's this experience of control and of immersion in sound which can be such a powerful therapeutic tool. The most usual way of playing the beam is to have a continuous run of notes, a bit like an invisible harp. At the Cerebral Palsy Association Centre in Portugal, sound beam is an integral feature in this rock band. This is Christopher from Loxheath Day Services near Southampton. He's often a challenge to the staff there. Here, he reveals an impressive sense of phrasing and a real improvisational talent, an expressive and musical intelligence which nobody suspected was there.